welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Today, we're turning our focus to a significant, yet often overlooked, respiratory threat, respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. One of the most fascinating aspects of RSV is its filamentous form. Unlike many other viruses that take on spherical shapes, RSV stands out with its elongated, thread-like structure. This filamentous form of RSV plays a crucial role in how the virus infects host cells and spreads. For example, in these scanning electron microscope images, we see an RSV-infected human cell. This cell is under siege by RSV, and we can clearly see how the long, filamentous shape of the virus allows it to establish extended contact with the host cell surface, helping the virus achieve efficient entry and replication. This image, showing a cell completely enveloped by filamentous RSV, demonstrates the virus's potency and why it poses such a significant concern, especially among vulnerable populations. RSV strikes annually with an estimated 34 million infections worldwide. Though often mild in healthy adults, it poses a grave risk to infants, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems. Before we proceed further, let's delve into the structural proteins of RSV that play a key role in its infectious cycle. First, the glycoprotein G, the chameleon of RSV. This protein aids the virus in evading the immune system due to its high variability. It's like a master of disguise, constantly changing to outwit our body's defenses. Next is the fusion protein, or F protein. Think of it as RSV's entry key into human cells. It facilitates the merger of the virus with the host cell membrane, a crucial step for the virus to infiltrate and begin its replication. Then there's the matrix protein, the structural backbone of RSV. It organizes the assembly of the virus, orchestrating the coming together of various components to form a new viral particle. Lastly, the small hydrophobic protein, a bit of a mystery player in RSV, though its role isn't fully understood, it's thought to be involved in disrupting the host's cellular processes and evading immune responses. Now let's turn our attention to the virus's interior. The nucleoprotein wraps around the viral RNA, forming a tight complex. This shield protects the RNA and plays a role in the replication process, ensuring the genetic material of the virus is accurately copied. The large polymerase protein orchestrates the intricate process of replicating the virus's genetic material, driving the relentless cycle of infection. Finally, the phosphoprotein is critical in orchestrating the virus's replication and evasion strategies. Each of these proteins plays a pivotal role in RSV's life cycle, making them prime targets for therapeutic interventions. Crafting vaccines for RSV is a high-stakes puzzle, balancing protective immunity with the risk of over-activating the immune response. Monoclonal antibodies like palivizumab offer a beacon of hope, especially for vulnerable infants and children with respiratory conditions. The quest for potent small molecule therapies against RSV is in full swing, with several candidates undergoing clinical trials. Here at VRS, we're committed to these efforts, working to close the gap in RSV therapeutics. We're a team of scientists that specializes in virus research, including RSV, and we'd be happy to connect with researchers who might benefit from our services. And if you're into virology and enjoyed this video, Follow our channel for more straightforward science content.